crashed. Why? You may think it's because I'm playing Battlefield 4 in 4K on an RX 590 and that surely helps, but that's not the reason why. Oh, and by the way, to actually make it work again, you need to power off the PC and power it on. The real problem is the clock of the GPU. And I'm not talking about overclocking. It was the base clock that MSI decided to apply to this GPU. And it can't handle it. Let's find out why. We are back online and first things first, when you have such a problem, is to go to the drivers of your GPU. So in my case, Radeon drivers, guess why? <laughs> Let me turn on recording so you can see it better. As you can clearly see, the clock is the base one. So settings. And it can it just can't handle 2000 megahertz for the VRAM and a clock of how much is it actually? Up to 1500 megahertz. What you can do to easily solve this problem is is to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video this way i can understand that you like content such as this one and i will keep uploading videos on hands-on hardware problems and solutions for most common problems limit the power consumption this will of course limit your fps's and you'll gain worse performances but it's the only way i could find to actually fix this problem so we can set a minus 15%, minus 10%, let's say. And you can also change the RPMs of your fans. That will be more nice because that's what it is. But otherwise it will just crash, keep crashing. So I think you're better off with a little bit more noise, but actually not crashing. So what we're doing is actually under voltaging our GPUs, GPU in order to maintain the FPS's. And you may think, well, you could just change the thermal piece. I did it three days ago. You could change your thermal pods. I did it some months ago, but still they're fresh and new. The real problem is the heatsink solution of this graphics card. Let's now try to run Battlefield 4, but this time with the changed option. So with the under voltage. Oh, and you can already hear the noise coming from the fan. And <laughs> we're only in the menu game, so. Ah, uh, that's so broken. Okay, we are actually in game. No, it crashed. Even with these settings, it crashed. The strange fact is that the GPU is still spinning. You can hear it. Let me grab you. This means we need to down voltage it even more. These are the settings we're going to try. Minus 50 milli volts on this five cores. I've also lowered the frequency a little bit. I've lowered 40 megahertz of the VRAM custom fan graph, minus 12% of power. And let's hope it does not crash. Seems like it's working so far. Fans are definitely spinning faster. The important thing is that it doesn't crash. We are at 66 degrees. 140 watts consumed, 120 FPS's. So, in the end, the real problem is just the cooling system chosen for the GPU. This is not enough for 175 watts TDP GPU. And if you have a problem similar to this one, you should try the same. So, lower the power consumption, lower the clock and see if it solves your problem. There is a better fix and it's to completely replace this heatsink with an aftermarket one from NZXT, Noctua or anything you can find that is rated for an higher TDP. That way you can keep your GPU cool and use it at the stock frequency. But the fact is that it costs money and you've already paid for your GPU. So, 
The best thing you can do is to look for reviews online before buying any GPU because depending on the cooling system they choose it could perform a lot better not slightly this MSI armor edition is the best representation of this problem because it has with almost every model but I'm sure there are still graphics card that suffer this so be aware of what you buy and always look for good reviews so that you know you won't have major problems like this one once you install it.